welcome back guys let's talk about somatic mutation now what is somatic mutation as the term suggests somatic means you know body cells right so somatic means cell of our normal body line that is not the germ line right because you know there are two types of mutations based on the type of cells one is uh, normal body cells the tissues uh, normal body tissues uh, the 2n number of chromosome containing cells and the other one is a mutation of the n number of chromosome containing cells or in the germ line cells for example in the sperm and egg cells so if mutation occurs in sperm and egg cells the chances for the mutation to be transferred to the next generation is always there but if the mutation occurs in our normal somatic cell that mutation is called as somatic mutation because the mutation of in somatic cell that is not inheritable it's not inheritable so Somatic mutation means mutation in somatic cells, right? So, in our body, we have different cells in different tissues. So, if you look at here in one cell, in each of the cell, we have nucleus inside and inside the nucleus, we have chromosome. In, inside the chromosome, we have all these DNA and gene sections, right? So, any problem in those chromosomes, this somatic mutation can be of uh, different types based on how the mutation occurs and all these things but actually just imagine the basic concept of somatic mutation so here is the gene somewhere here so so this this blue color section is the gene so if there is any kind of mutation for example the mutation I have put here with this uh, with this red colored region so any mutation in the gene inside what it will do now if the cell will divide from 1 to 2 that mutation and then 2 to 4 and so on the cell will divide right because that's the process of cell division and production of the tissue inside the cell so whatever we see here the mutation will remain in all those offspring cells right so if mutation originated in the mother cell that mutation will be carried to the next generation of cells these are the next generation generation say one two three and that mutation continues mutation continues through this level right because if there is any mutation there in the first kind of cell cell after the cell division that mutation will remain there now there is a chance that the mutation will go away but the chances are very rare that's called the reversion of that mutation that might occur but very rare case so this is the fundamental fact about the somatic mutation but remember say this is the organism say in case of us for example the mutation occurs in one of our tissue for example liver tissue and then liver cell then finally that after the cell division it is spread through the liver tissue and we have a certain problem associated with our metabolism due to this mutation now what will happen that person will suffer for that mutation but once that person is died that mutation is lost because for that reason if that person produces the sperm for example he is a male and he produces sperm for the offspring that sperm will not contain this mutation because this mutation present in the somatic cell right so if there is no mutation in the sperm cell the offspring for that individual for that infected individual is going to be or for the or the diseased individual is going to be healthy right because they have don't they don't have any link right now what are the different types of somatic mutation that we can deal with based on where it occurs we can divide into two types like dna or gene mutation directly which are major times called, called as you know point mutation or it can be chromosomal mutation right so if it is a chromosomal mutation or point mutation they have different levels of different types of point mutation different types of chromosomal mutation right so we are going to talk about independently about the different types of uh, chromosomal mutation as well as different types of uh, genetic mutations in this video so stay tuned and watch this